Here we have 11.5, solving an exponential equation, finding common bases. So really nothing too different here as far as application, but what we end up with after we drop the bases is where it will differ from the other example. So here, you're gonna go with the lower base, and I can write 16 as four raised to some base, because 16 is four squared. And then when you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you have to multiply those exponents together. So two times two x plus five. And so then I'm gonna do two steps in one. I'm gonna drop my bases, because I know that this exponent has to equal this exponent in order for the whole equation to be true. And I'm also gonna distribute that two at the same time. So notice that I dropped my bases and I distributed the two up there at the same time. Now I do have an x squared, so I do have to set it equal to zero. So I'm going to minus four x and minus 10 on both sides. So I get zero equal x squared minus 15x plus 54 um, and I believe I can do I can factor that it's x minus 9 and x minus 6 those multiply to give me 54 and add to give me negative 15 so then I get x equal to positive 9 and x equal to positive 6 and then now I just have to check, I don't even have to check both the answers, right? Because I don't have the variables in the bases and there's no arguments in this problem. So I do end up with two solutions, which are six and nine.